So pass one for the day was this 10.6 at 138. Hey, can I get some water when I get up there? Some water? Thank you. So the next pass I did not have a log for. I forgot to start it with everything going on. But here is the slip. Still a terrible 168, 60 foot. Went a 670 at 113, which is the fastest mile an hour the car has ever done in the eighth. Um, when it went 990, I think it did 109 miles an hour. And a 1020 at 140.2, which is the fastest mile an hour um, at this time. Uh, that 138.3 was the fastest mile an hour the car had ever done, but this one is currently the fastest that I've ever done with the car. Um, I can't remember if I raised the boost duty up after this pass. I think I might have, maybe just like 1 or 2 percent, um, but it wasn't really enough to change a whole lot. But um, let's go to the next pass, and I'll show you the action. So that was the pass with the oil down and I can bring up the log here and see what she made for boost wise and everything. Here's the time slip when a 222 60 foot because it spun really bad on the line as you can see 780 at 107 and then it went 11.3 and still went 139 because I had turned the boost duty up a little bit. Let's see what it made for boost on that pass. Um, let's see, second gear, it made, I was trying to get it to 20. It made about, about 19 pounds uh, in high gear. And still, it seems like it took forever to get in the boost, as you can see by the red line right there. Here is the trans brake, which you can see by the ripples that it actually did get on the trans brake but it just wasn't making a whole lot of boost. It was only on about six pounds and I should be able to make quite a bit more than that. And you can see these spikes down here. This is the timing retard that it gets on whenever it's on the trans brake. 
so it was fully on the two-step um, and it was going to a negative eight spark and uh, trying to maintain the RPM but that's where it launched right here launched spun um, you see my TPS where I let out and kind of got back in let out again and got back in it and uh, 3700 RPM and then it took forever to get back into boost again and then it got into boost and made about 19 pounds and then you can see the boost just drops off for some reason and that was at 6400 RPM where it really started dropping off and I didn't shift until about 6800 RPM is where I shifted and it had dropped down to 12 about 12 and a half pounds of boost by then and then I shifted and then it comes back up again into boost and I hold it till the end of the pass and that was uh, about 6100 RPM it made about 18.7 pounds of boost the manifold air temp was about 166 degrees and it was running about 11 11 degrees 11.7 degrees um, at 18.7 pounds of boost which is uh, relatively uh, safe um, I should be able to add a little bit of timing um, it was pulling a degree and a half out just for the manifold air temp because I'm a little bit a little bit cautious on that type of stuff so but that's the logs there um, everything looked good, pretty good uh, 11 5 11 6 air fuel the whole way down this new uh, beta firmware they have on these mega squirts thanks to Felix he showed me this um, but they uh, they're really good at controlling air fuel if you let the computer do it um, which I, I do now and uh, it's I'm very impressed with it um, I really really am uh, it may not be as good as the Holly Terminator stuff but it is they're dialing it in it's a lot better than it used to be so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video um, hopefully there will be more to come it's been hot and I've been working 6 12s again uh, so I haven't had a whole lot of time stuff's been shut down stuff starting to reopen back up so hopefully we can get some more content going uh, a few more race days and stuff like that but appreciate you watching thank you